Hello, and welcome to the Beauty Saga. If you are new here, I'm Parisa Saga, and I am really glad you decided to click on this video. Today's video is a current beauty favorites video. It's about time. It's about time. I realized that I have not done a favorites video this entire year. What? So I have got some absolute gems to share with you guys. Some things that I have been like wearing for the past three months that I haven't really talked about that I need to talk about. They are so good. I am so excited about what I have to share with you for this favorites video. It's gonna be good. So without further ado, let's go ahead and just get started. Okay, so the very first thing I wanna talk about is actually a combination of products that I've been wearing on my body non-stop. I've been wearing this Hemp's Fresh Coconut and Watermelon Lotion with the newest Escada perfume, like non-stop. These two are such a beautiful combination. In general, I'm a really big fan of these Hemp's lotions. This one is by far my favorite of all time though. It smells literally like freshly sliced coconuts and watermelons. I really like these lotions because they're super lightweight. They absorb into the skin like really easily. And I have problems not only with acne on my face, but also acne all over my body. I can use this lotion all over my chest, stomach, arms, back, and it does not break me out, which is amazing because most lotions do. So this hemp stuff, it is really lightweight it absorbs so easily and then it just like leaves your skin like moisturized soft and like smelling amazing and as I mentioned I have been pairing that lotion with the new Escada Sorberto Rosso Sorbetto Rosso oh my god can you tell how like uncultured I am okay it's the new Escada perfume for this year can we just like have a minute for the bottle it comes in? This is so stinking beautiful. I got this perfume because I was like strolling a local department store and I was like smelling all the perfumes that looked interesting and I was like, Escada, oh my gosh, I used to have a Pizza Hippie, I have to smell this. And the instant I sprayed it, I was like, I'm buying that. Give me the biggest size you have, I'm buying this. The very first thing you smell is watermelon. But it's not exactly like the same like fresh cut watermelon that's in this one. The new Escada smells like watermelon candy. I mean, it smells like exactly like watermelon pop rocks. I smelled it and I was like, oh, yum. It has completely exceeded my expectations because all I smelled was that like, sugary watermelon, like literally watermelon pop rock scent when I first like sprayed it. But as I wear it in my skin, it sort of mellows down into a more like, oh, delicious scent. It's got like aquatic notes and like almost kind of like aquatic and like salty sea notes and then it also smells like pralines and amber and watermelon. It's actually really delicious how it blends with at least my skin personally. And it wears so long. I spray this and seriously like 12, 14 hours later, I can still smell it on my wrists like very poignantly. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love this scent. I've read like reviews online where people really hate it because of that like candy watermelon scent. They say it smells like really juvenile and like, yeah, probably. It's actually funny because that's like what made me buy this perfume, but it's actually a much more like gorgeous, complex scent. If you are inside of a department store or Ulta, spray this on your wrist and just let it sink in and smell it like an hour later and then tweet to me what you think because I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I I am so glad I bought the big size because I'm gonna wear this all summer, every day. 
all summer long. I love it. These two pair so beautifully together. It's so fresh and fruity and like summer and it just makes me happy and I don't care if it's a juvenile scent. I think it smells really lovely, really fruity, really fresh and I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Okay, so my next favorite is actually what I have on my eyes right now. It is this little wet and wild quad called Hooked on Vinyl. Let's do a little close up so you can actually see these shades. I know what you're thinking. Homegirl has all these palettes and yet her favorite is a quad? The thing she can't put down is a quad? Are you for real? Yeah. I'm for real, this is amazing. Just like, look at these metallics, what? Absolutely beautiful, and this like deep blue really shows up blue on the eyes. This like rich kind of bronze copper shade, ugh, it's stunning. I have been using this so much. Basically been wearing this like exact eye look everywhere, every day. <laughs> can't get enough of it. I picked this up at Walmart. It is three dollars and I am like really impressed. I like I like the new Wet n Wild formula in general. I also have like some of the new palettes which I also really really like. The only thing like to really know about these shadows is that they are pretty soft. You get a lot of kick up with the mattes in the pan and you can get fallout with the shimmers. So Definitely do your eyes first, wipe away any fallout, and then do your foundation. Cause these are pretty soft. That's the only thing I gotta say about them. But for $3, look at this eye look. Living. <laughs> okay, so my favorite foundation is the Maybelline Super Stay. I don't think anyone is surprised if you saw my review of this product back in December. I was pretty shook. I was really, <laughs> into what this was doing, but twist, curveball, I've been mixing it with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow, and in like every video I've shot for the past three months, this has been the combination I've been wearing on my skin, I'm wearing it today. The reason I love this dynamic duo combined so much is you get like the glow, and the hydration of the Infallible Pro Glow, but you get the crazy super staying power of this one, and it's full coverage. So it kind of, when you mix these two, it kind of brings out the best of both of them, and it makes an incredibly glowy, incredibly long wearing combination, and it is just the dream. If you saw my most recent video, I reviewed these Hard Candy Look Pro Bear It All sticks. The foundation stick I had to mention here because I've been wearing this a lot too for foundation and I love it. I will link that video like right up here if you're interested in hearing more about it, but it's a really nice stick foundation, super matte, very long wearing on oily skin, and I'm here for it. The drugstore is killing it with foundations, like, so good. Okay, so the next thing I wanna talk about is a contour palette from Tarte. This is the Park Avenue Princess Chisel Palette. This packaging is absolutely gorgeous. It's like this sort of rose gold crocodile and then in gold embossed it says Park Ave Princess. It's such nice, like weighty, gorgeous packaging. It does have a full size mirror and then this is what the shades inside look like. This is very reflective packaging so I'm trying to hold it in a way that doesn't like blind you guys. But I have been using this like non-stop. I've been trying to like list all the makeup I wear in every video in the description box. So if you've been reading that for like literally the past three months. You know how much I've been using this palette. I use Carrot to contour because it has like this beautiful like gray sort of taupey undertone that really looks good on my skin tone. It's like a pretty convincing contour. I have it on today right there. And then I've been using Angle for bronzing all over. Absolutely love this shade. I use Enhance 
to set my under eyes and like it really brightens my under eyes. And I also use Halo to highlight certain parts of my face that I want to use a matte highlight for. I own a lot of contour palettes and like what makes this one so special to me is the shades. The shades are like exemplary. They work so well with my skin tone. In a lot of other palettes like the banana-ish shade is way too dark for me to use. And a lot of the contour shades get really like a, too dark for me too. So this one has brilliant shades. The palette smells sweet and like kind of chocolatey, which I enjoy. I think scent could bother some people, but I really like it. And these powders are like so soft and like silky and easy to blend on the face. There is a little bit of kick up in the palette because they are so soft. But that doesn't bother me. It's not a deal breaker. I love this contour palette. I can't believe that like more people aren't like talking about this contour palette because it's it's exceptional. So another product that has quickly become my favorite is the Anastasia Dip Brow. I had had Dip Brow before and I really didn't like it and I think it's because I had a bad shade. The first shade I got was Ebony which is like way too red. I always felt like my eyebrows like looked bright. Like they didn't look natural and I think it was like the red undertone was really throwing me off. So this time I got the shade Granite, which is the darkest shade they make. It's basically black, <laughs> but it has like a beautiful like gray sort of cool ashy undertone. It's what I'm wearing in my brows today. It's what I've been wearing in my brows every single day since December when I bought this. And to apply it, I've been using the Anastasia brush number 12. I love this brush. It just like, it makes the most perfect little hair like strokes and you can really like carve out your brow shape with it. And if you get too much pomade in one spot, like you get a little heavy handed with the product, this spoolie like works it out. It's amazing. So this is an award-winning combo for the brows. I really, I see what all the hype with dip brow was about. Oh, I should also mention, I've been setting my brows with the Nick. It's got an eyelash on it. <laughs> oh, I'm a train wreck. Uh, so this is the NYX Control Freak Brow Gel. It's just a clear like brow gel and it's what I've been setting my eyebrows with. And like this stuff, you put it in your brows and like, they don't budge. It's really nice. It's only six dollars. NYX kills it. NYX is such a good brand and I love this brow gel. Okay so the next thing I want to talk about is a highlighter from Colourpop. This is in the shade Smokin' Whistles and I love this. I'm actually not wearing it today because I needed a gold highlight to match these eye but ugh, this is so amazing. It's like a gorgeous peach color, but it's really bright. It has like silver sort of shift to it. Everyone is like so hyped for Flexitarian, and that one's good. I have that one as well, but this one, Smoke and Whistles, oh, it's gorgeous. It's really unique to being like a peach with silver. Usually they put peach with gold, so this is really unique. These are so creamy, soft, pigmented. What I like to do is just take like the end of my sponge, get right in there, and then tap it onto the high points of my cheek. I love wearing this highlighter on my no makeup makeup days, just to give my face like some glow and lift amazing color. I've never heard anyone else talk about this this specific highlighter shade from Colourpop and like it's so good. So my absolute favorite lip favorite for the whole month is the one I'm wearing currently on my lips. It's from Physicians Formula. This is one of the healthy lip matte liquid lipsticks. This is an all natural nude and it is such a pretty like pinky mid-tone nude. It's just such an easy shade. It matches with like every makeup look. It's definitely like that 
my lips but better well that depends on your skin tone but for me it's a my lips but better which is my favorite kind of lip product I've had this on for about five hours right now and it has not done like the crack like line thing that all other matte lipsticks do to me within like 30 minutes of having them on these healthy lips are like a lot more comfortable than the average matte liquid lipstick they don't dry as much and they don't do that crack thing and they are transfer resistant let me show you guys like a closer up swatch of the color in case you want to see it but but it is what I'm wearing on my lips today it is such a good color such a good color and then these two lip products like literally live in my purse I actually had to go and like pull them out of my purse to bring them in here to show you guys. These are the Hard Candy Cashmere Silks. I did a full lip swatch video of all the shades. I'll link it up here in case you're interested in seeing. But the two shades I carry around with me everywhere are Macaron, which is like this pinker one, and Creme Brulee, which is a more nude shade. These two shades, they go with everything and I absolutely love these because it really doesn't matter what makeup look I was wearing earlier in the day I can throw these on after I get sick of wearing a matte liquid lipstick and they're like glossy hydrating really beautiful on the lips I'm gonna go ahead and add a little creme brulee now they're very opaque glosses and then they just look so beautiful, juicy on the lips. They're really easy to wear and they're only $7 at Walmart. There is a shade in the swatch video that speaks to you. I cannot recommend picking it up enough. They're really good glosses. I really hope you enjoyed this favorites video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and I will definitely get back to you. You can check out The Beauty Saga on social media. I have an Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and Facebook page. It's at The Beauty Saga for all social media and I would love to hang out with you guys there. I hope you subscribe. I hope I'm gonna catch you on my next video. And until then, bye.